Looking for cheap MT and much 16 coin? Head on down to logger.com. Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J Rob 447 back at it again with some NCAA Football 14 action and go down in the comments once again, ladies and gentlemen. We're down to the two final teams for the NCAA Basketball 10 vote. And yo, yo, this is the deciding factor right here. This is the deciding factor. If you didn't, if you don't vote this time, I don't know what you're doing. So you guys see, in this game, we'll be going up against the Pony Express, a.k.a. SMU. Let me tell you about their history real quick. Uh, basically, I think they were suspended indefinitely for like a, a few seasons out of uh, postseason contention because of some scandal that went on at the university. Also, their basketball team, even though they did really, really good this season, could not go into the postseason because of some other sanctions against them. But we're going against them today. They're a pretty good team. Uh, it's a pretty good school as well. Um, they got a uh, high average SAT grades, and my uh, uncle actually works works there as a professor, so that's pretty cool. But we're looking to get a victory, all right? We're not looking here to shake hands. We're looking here to get this victory, a road victory, all right? That's what we need to get. So, Ron Willoughby back there to return. He's going to get some blocks, but he's not even going to get to the 20. That's a bad punt. That's a bad kick return right there. So, Colin Michael's going to hand it off to Jordan Johnson, and Jordan Johnson chugs forward and picks up the first down. So, first down and 10 yet again for the Buffalo Bulls, and Jordan Johnson's just going to cut back and get a 9-yard rush right there, just doing what he has to do. So, Colin Michael driving back out of the shotgun's going to fuck. He almost found Jacob Martinez, but Jacob Martinez dropped it. But it's not going to matter as the Buffalo Bulls still end up getting a first down. So, First down and 10. Colin Michael dropping back yet again. He's going to find Ron Willoughby, the senior. And Ron Willoughby having a pretty darn good season so far. Uh, he's definitely going out on a high note. Kevin Rogers, I believe he's a sophomore. He's doing pretty good as well. So first down and 10. Read option works. As Zach Nicholas picks up a 6-yard rush, making it second and 4 around the 20-yard line. So play action. Read Colin Michael dropping back. Finds Jacob Martinez over the middle for an 18-yard reception. He caught it this time. So first down and goal on the 5. Colin Michael hands it off to Jordan Johnson, who's going to get into the end zone and score the first touchdown of the ball game. So, Davis is the quarterback for the SMU Mustangs. And Prescott Line, it looks like he's a, a fullback, but uh, hey, they got the fullback type built, but uh, he's a running back, I guess. It's, it's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, okay? So, Prescott Line, hey, he's he's got power. He's got power, and our linebackers aren't the biggest guys. So that's one thing. I mean, recruiting is very hard, honestly, because it's just hard for our team, especially on the defensive end. For offense, I know I'm in 100% control of our offense. Like, I can make things work on offense. For defense, it really comes down to how well each player at each position is because I can only control one person. For the offense, I can't control everybody, but I have more of the control, if you know what I'm saying. But for defense, it's a different story. And, you know, I've experimented with this new playbook. And, yes, it does look like it's working. But then again, our personnel is not that great. And as you guys see, we get killed by option plays as Matt Davis scores for the touchdown. I mean, that's that's just a computer thing for the AI. The computer always gets fooled. It's like, but only the user computer gets fooled. Uh, the CPU sometimes, you know, catches it. You know, there's sometimes you just can't defend that. So, second down and two. Colin Michael dropping back. Finds Ron Willoughby. Across the middle for a seven-yard reception. Now, for those crossing routes, you know, I always get those. I love them slant routes. They they pretty much work for me 80% of the time. And that's what I love about that. As I'm saying, offensively, I can control a lot more of the game. So, second and seven. Colin Michael in the shotgun. Gets the ball. And he's going to pass it down before. Field to Marcus McGill, who goes all the way up there to grab it and picks up the first down. He's already, Colin Michael's already thrown for 94 yards. That's amazing. And you see the read option deked the defenders, and Colin Michael just doesn't have that breakaway speed to get into the end zone. If we had a quarterback like that who had breakaway speed, we definitely would have scored on that. So, first and goal for the Bulls, and we do score as Marcus McGill catches it. 
to cap off a beautiful drive, which was led by that amazing catch he made for like 40 yards. But oh no, oh no, Matt Davis turning over the ball. You guys see it right here. Ryan Williamson just jumps in front of the route and gets the interception. Ryan Ryan Williamson is a great cornerback for us. You know, he's just he's just been producing these past few these two years. And he's going to be back next year as he's only a junior. So I can't wait to see what he does then. He's a captain. I believe he, he might even might even been a captain last year. And I wonder if you can actually pick your captains in this game. If you do know how, please tell me. And uh, Kyle and Michael throws another touchdown. This time it is to Ron Willoughby in the back of the end zone. So third and eight for the SMU Mustangs. Dave is going to drive back. And he's going to find his receiver, Deion Sanders Jr. For the first down, a 51-yard reception. He might have speed like his dad because... Who he just broke away from our cornerbacks. That's another reason thing. We our corner, our secondary is is awful. God awful. Dade Bow's not that. We don't our turnover differential is not great. We don't get a lot of interceptions. We don't get forced fumbles a lot. We just that's why almost every game we literally have to fight to win. Okay, and you guys see the read option once again deeks us, and they pick up a big gain. So second down and one. For the SMU Mustangs and Prescott Lions gonna punch it in, and I believe they take the lead on this one. Nope, actually, um, they're gonna tie it up if they make the extra point, and they do. So with two seconds left, I'm going with the hook. I'm going with the hook, okay? And I see my man's open, but that safety knew how to read it, and it's gonna be incomplete. So we go into halftime, all knotted up at 21 apiece, and yeah. I can't believe it. So fourth down and twelve, and oh my gosh, SMU tried to catch us, but Rembert, Rembert, heads up, gets the intel, and he's taking it to the house. William Rembert takes that one all the way to the house. Who that we need to catch breaks. We need to catch some breaks. So we're up by a score with three minutes twenty eight left in the third quarter, but. Matt Davis, you know, he's hanging in there, hanging in here. He didn't even throw the interception. It was the punter. So the punter, that's all his fault. And, oh, my God, Matt Davis. He's just getting lucky with his open receivers. I'm telling you, when it comes to man coverage, our our, wide receiver, our cornerbacks aren't that great. But you guys got to look at this again. Was he in bounds? No, he was not. He did not have a foot in bounds. So that play is going to be reverse, reverse, reverse. Reverse, reverse. So, definitely amped about that. All right, so it's going to be third and 13 for the Mustangs. Matt Davis dropping back to pass. He's going to get sacked. Smeckle got in on that one right there. And he calls a sack. Xavier Davis and Smeckle, best of buddies, man. Best of buddies. And Colin Michael picks up the first down on his feet. As he gets that read option to work right there. So second down and 10. We're going to run the counter. And Jordan Johnson's going to pick up a big gain right there. 13 yards. And giving us another first down. So we're just chugging along. So second and 12. And oh no. Oh no. Horton. Here's a who. Horton gets the interception. And just when you thought. Just when you thought we could control this game. Colin Michael throws a pick. So first down and 10 for Matt Davis. Matt Davis is going to find his receiver. And Jeremiah Gaines picks up nine yards on that one. So second down and one for the Mustangs. And who? Matt Davis has to fight to get that first down. So it's going to be first and goal for the Mustangs. So Matt Davis is going to hand it off to Prescott Line. And Prescott Line is going to get into the end zone and score, making it a tie ball game. With 15 seconds left in the third quarter. So, Colin Michael dropping back to pass. He's going to find his man, JT Burgess, the freshman, for an eight-yard reception. So, second down and two. Going to hand it off to Jordan Johnson. Jordan Johnson jukes a man out of his shoes. And Jordan, he's still up. Jordan Johnson picks up a 23-yard rush on that one. That is the way to run the ball. And we just, we're going to keep on clicking as Malcolm Robinson 
catches the ball for 10 yards. So first down and 10 for us once again. Kyler Michaels dropping back. He's going to find J.R. Zazara for the first down, making it second and one. So second and one, Kyler Michael dropping back yet again. He's going to find Mason Shrek wide open. He's been pretty quiet this game, but he's finally got his first catch. So with 418 left, second and 15, Kyler Michael dropping back. Hits Jordan Johnson out in the flats, but it's only for three yards. So third and 11. We basically have to score, okay? Basically have to score. And Mason Shrek's going to catch this one just shy. Just shy of the first down marker. So we're going to have to settle for a field goal. I don't want to risk it, all right? And this time, Terrence Jones finally kicks a ball pretty good because he, he is a really bad kicker. He is just terrible. As a freshman, he has no power. His accuracy is not that great. It's just terrible. But, oh... The SMU Mustangs turn over the ball, and we pretty much win this game. You guys see, we're just going to score just for safe measures, okay? We don't want these guys to, you know, come and bite us in the butt. But basically, we came out here, we had to fight, but we still end up getting the victory in the end. Uh, the score does not dictate how close of the game this actually was, because this game was really close. Jordan Johnson absolutely did amazing, and he really kept us in the game with his running ability. Our running game was really great. Our passing game was really great until uh, Colin Michael got, got the interception bug because he, he started to lose his mind at the end of that game. But Matt Davis, who he was really good as well, but our defense found a way to neutralize him. So you got to see three interceptions and two touchdowns. That's not going to cut it, bro. It's not going to cut it. Colin Michael, uh, it doesn't look like he had a lot of rushing yards simply because, you know, they take away rushing yards if you get sacked. But in the NFL, they take away from the team passing yards. I think that's how the game should do it. But you know what? I am not the developer, so I really have no say. But, you know, that's something I wish for. So you see our receivers did really good as well. And if we go into our defensive stats, we did really well as well. So anyway, this has been another J-Rob video. Remember to like and subscribe. Peace.